Hello everybody! In today's video, we're going to be learning how to use the fireball magic properly because this stuff is absolutely the most powerful weapon in the game. You're a mage, right? You're supposed to be far away from the action, so to speak. And it looks pretty clear right now. And it's nice and kind of flat. This is exactly what you want. You need a space to fall back to. The range of the staff is so far that you can attack enemies from places where they can't even see you. And you want to be able to mortar them from behind cover. So if you just go up all the way, that won't work. If you shoot a fireball up here, it's actually going to go behind you, as you'll see in a second. And you have a moment. You can just look up in the sky and then throw a bunch of fireballs behind you. And then you can actually bait the enemy into this sort of kill zone here. Everything I'm showing you in this video is with all three magic foods. Because then you can do these crazy, crazy combos. And then you just go down a tiny, 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 tiny bit, and then... So you go all the way up, you, you get a feel for it. You get further down and try and make like a trajectory of the fireballs, right? There we go. Hopefully at least one of them actually hits an enemy now. Oh, there we go! That works so much better than it usually does. Go down by an inch or so, and then this time, we're sort of gonna make a little cluster pattern. See how that goes. Let's see. It looks like they, they are coming towards me a little bit. Oh, 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 we actually hit some! And now they finally see me, okay? But then we can just switch to, you know, more traditional stuff. And we have our ground behind us to run back to. Because remember, as a, as a pure mage, you, you have, like, no stamina. So you can't be, like, running around a lot. You really need to fight walking unless you are in immediate danger and then you run. You can see that the goblins, even with, like, level 1 elemental magic, they, they, they don't even stand a chance at all. They die so quickly. As a mage, you always need that full backspace. And then you just sort of do this regularly. Try and get a spread where you catch as many of them on fire. See, there's all those goblins in that hut. Let's see if we can damage these two huts using that technique that I just showed you. So we can put a volley up here. And if we go straight up, it's going to go behind us. So let's go down. And then I'm going to try and keep them in a cluster here so that we can make it work. And I'll throw one last one. Let's see what happens. Any of them land? Oh, whoa! <laughs> I'm getting lucky today. Let's pull back to our little fighting area here. There we go. Okay, now we have a nice little pack here. And I got my fireball staff. What I can do is just run in the same direction, and then run up, and run forward. And basically, that will make a little area, probably right here where the staff fireball will come back down and land behind me, see? So you can literally, like, you can do all sorts of crazy stuff. And the fire damage works best if it's, like, one fireball, and then it catches a bunch of them on fire, and then another fireball lands and catches the others, right? But you can also just Halo rocket style, just aim at the ground in front of you, and it's incredibly suppressive. So it looks like... There's another great group of goblins over there that we, they're close enough. I can just do this. I'll do half of my magic right there. Get all of them to come towards me because we want to like whirlpool them all into the same place and then just blow up, right? Boom. Looks like there is a base right over there. You see that? That house? You always start by looking all the way up. The reason you do this is because it basically puts you into an aiming mode because you can't look behind you so you'll look predictably in the right spot and if you shoot here again the fireball will land behind you as you can see looking up all the way immediately behind you boom oh now is the true moment of truth can I survive this? <laughs> let's see it is pretty insane how strong this is against the wolves, so... With the wolves, you can use this strategy, basically. You just look at the ground, and then you move forward into your fireball blast. The whole video started with my fireball skill being level 1. 
And I was overusing the fireballs a bit there. That's kind of the disadvantage of it. You want to, like, let the enemies pile up a bit. And then get them all at once. See? That way you only use one attack, and then they all die. That's what you're... Like, that's the best way to use it. But if you're using the fireball one-on-one, -on -one, like that, see? I hit that wolf, but not that one. Then you eventually get into a situation where you run out of mana. So it's good to let the monsters kind of accumulate a bit. Boom. There we go. Oh, just in time too, my shield disappeared. <laughs> Look at that. This event killed me more in Valheim than anything else in Valheim did. This event, like, was one of the more challenging things, but the Fireball Staff just, it really just neutralizes everything. Uh, as long as you know how to use it and you keep your distance, then you, you just do so much damage, it's insane. I was actually pretty impressed earlier that the goblins came over here from so far away. Maybe the best strategy then is to assume they are going to come follow you and try and channel them up somewhere like this, right? Because now I can just sort of use two fireballs at a time because we want to not make that mistake, right? Where there's no point in using a whole bunch and wasting all your mana. You want to be consistently damaging the goblins, right? So... This is kind of a whole different approach than the, the volleys from earlier. Here's a perfect opportunity to try one of these sort of other advanced tricks. We got this little gaggle of four goblins who are sizing me up. It looks like they're, they're, they're coming to get me, right? They haven't fully seen me yet, so I'm going to throw my trap, throw all of the magic up in the air here, and then they saw me, and then I'm just going to run... And I'll just go right, right here, and then just hang out, see what happens. Oh, they're leaving. They're not cooperating. If you want to support my work, check out my tutorial about setting up your own dedicated Valheim server. It's a great way to play Valheim with your friends, because they can build stuff when you're not there. And when Ashlands comes out, I know it's going to be a real blast. And comment below if you have a tutorial that you'd like me to make a video about. I love responding to your tutorial requests. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!